And welcome back. We're going to be taking a look at what we need to do in the third dungeon, or Temple of the Great Bay. I love how those items just land right on top of the other two barrels. And I just love it how Link likes to miss rolling into those barrels. Okay, well, arrows and bombs in that one, and that kind of tells me that we're going to need arrows and bombs. Let's go over here. Now remember, you're looking for fairies as well, so we're going to be on the lookout for all the different fairies that you can grab. Ooh, now there's a fairy. We can stick her in a jar. Just in case we need it, but I don't think we will, but it's always good to have that extra added assurance. Rupees. Like, we really need them in here. Alright, now, what we're going to need, actually, are our fire arrows. Since we don't have any Deku sticks, let's start with that one there. It would help if I aimed first. The one in front of you. Yeah, yes, I did. And the one over there. And the one over there. Not quite. There we go. And your first treasure box is revealed, and you can pretty much guess what's inside of it. Open up the box, and it's your first fairy. These ones are nice and blue. A nice, beautiful blue color. And you open up this door and you get a good view of the water wheel. First we're going to go over this way and get into our regular arrows. See that spider up there? Kill it! Now hop onto this platform. There's a fairy up there, so... Put on your fairy mask, it'll come right to you. There's some rupees there too. That's the second fairy. There are still more in here. You better believe there are. Because there's one right there. Now let's get Mikau's mask on. That way he can dive down. And we just walk up to the bubble. Walk up to the fairy. That's the third one. Amazing. Now, let us see. Now, first of all, you're going to notice that this level has a lot of these valves. We're going to need all of these valves open so that proper water flow can get to this area. So once you get down here, open up this valve. You're going to need that sprouting of water. Swim back to the beginning. Now onto this moving platform. Watch out for the spiders, because there are some over here. See that shadow there? And there's one over here. Now as Mikau, you're going to have to make that leap onto the water when it's at its lowest level. And now when it's at its highest level, you leap right off to the other side. Now you'll notice that we left that that valve alone. There's one valve down there. Directly below us. We left that one alone because that controls the flow of the water to turn one way or the other way. Yes, it is a giant water wheel, and that's what this level is. It's one giant water wheel. Let's go over there. Break open these pots. Because we need the magic. Now we're going to need to get back onto that revolving key. Now there's a ladder there, but we can't use it yet. Not yet. We're going to this other... Whoa, hello. Alright, that's no problem. We're going to get up this ladder here. Up to the ladder. Thank you. 
and spin and roll right into that barrel. There's another fairy. Congratulations, you found four fairies and we haven't even seen much of the level yet. Now we're going to see a lot more of the level, so we're going to dive in here. Dive down. Now there's a strong current going around. As you can see, it likes to beat the hell out of Link. Or Mikau. Your first entry you want to get inside, or try to get inside, is right in there. The current will sweep you right in there when you get close. Now you'll see a lot of these dead skeleton fish thingies. So just give them a good electrical charge. And remember your magic levels, because these things do reuse magic. Okay, now... I can see what the rest of these pots, pots have. A little bit of magic there. Get a safe distance from him if you're on the ground. Use your boomerangs. You get an extra heart container here. We don't really need to look into all those clay pots. Now, those are some really mean hands. We're gonna Z-target them. Use our boomerang on it. And use it on the other one, too. Now we can pass through there without being gripped and ripped. But actually... Let's go check topside to make sure we don't need to do anything up here first. But we probably do. And you'll see this room quite often. Okay, we didn't really need that. Okay. We can get there if you want to. You do this early. We can get there with using the hook shot. So let's wear the hook shot now. And use that as our target. There's the map. I know how to use a map, thank you. Now you can also do this really early too. Open those two pots. One of them contains a fairy in it. And it's that one right there. Put on your fairy mask and let her come to you. That is our fifth one, and we're doing awesome. Only ten more to go. Return as Mikau Link. Or Zora Link. Now, you notice, how do we get to that doorway over there? You'll see it later. Now, dive down and go inside. This area. No, go inside that area. Thank you. Once you make it all the way to the end of this corridor... You're going to see a lot of these man-eating plants, or Zora-eating plants now. Just use your electricity and just blast right through them. Jump down there if you happen to land on a little... Jump down there. Jeez Louise. Yes, they survive in water. They will kick your ass because Mikau does not really fight hand-to-hand -hand combat very well. So use your boomerangs. Well, you can't use your boomerangs there, so while his back is turned, you might as well just go after him. Is he going to drop anything we need? Probably not. <coughs> now we got one more of those things to kill, and that's right behind you. So jump up on one of these lily pads. Turn around, and there it is, right up there. Might have to get closer in order to Z-target him. Let's jump onto that lily pad there. Now you can't really get him as easily there. You'll have to go back down. And dive down. And electrocute the crap out of him if you got the leverage. Now you got another chest. And inside that chest is another fairy. So let's go and let that fairy out of the box. Is that what happens when Link reveals the secret? He lets the fairy out of the box. Now we got six of them. 
They are loaded in this dungeon, aren't they? Now this, I've been told, is one of the most difficult dungeons in Majora's Mask. And it is rather difficult, if you don't know what you're doing. Let's jump into this area here. Now dive down, see if we can kill any more. Did we get them? I hear the bomb chew up there. Open this up for a key. And break open all these pots. Thank you! Excuse me. Oh. I bit my tongue on that one. That one didn't feel too good. Oh, did you see that? The thing was waiting for me. Well, take a look around and see if there's anything you can do. Yes, there is. We'll go in here and grab the compass. Now we got the map, the compass, one key. And unfortunately, we can't do anything about that yet. But we will soon. Nothing more we can do here. And the only way to go before you go down there, don't see a target. You're going to have to use precision. Because if you see target, you're not going to be able to make it because that's too narrow. There's your other fairy there, so make sure you do this first. We'll go ahead and get the mask. And that's all the fairies. Now, unfortunately, we won't be able to get those two hands. Yeah, let's go over this way and get our arrows. Oh, wait. Whoa, did you see that? That's the boss key in there. So jump into the current and get sent back out where you once were. Now we're going to the bottom room. Not that one. This one. Oh, we didn't make it that time. That's okay, but while we make it around, what do you say we do this? There's a fairy down here, too. All I gotta do is break that clay pot, which is very difficult to do when you're in a current. Oh, I thought I had that one. Might have to stand up, like, right against it. Can we get it to break open? No, we still can't get it to break open. This is the most difficult part, and we have to go the opposite direction. We got it! Can we actually... No, we can't. I was thinking maybe I could zoom over and grab it, but... What do you say we go up topside, put on our mask, and let her come to us? That would be the easiest thing. Now just grab the top of the uh, ledge here, and we'll get fairy number seven. even coming. Yes, it is. There it is. It's Solace. And there are no more fairies in here now. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the eighth one? That's right. It is fairy number eight. Hard to believe we only have seven fairies left to go. Let's go to that bottom room now. Can we make it? We made it. That's the room we need to be in. Use some electricity on those guys. Kill it. I hear some skeleton fish. Now, don't worry about those clay pots. They do not contain fairies. Just rise to the top here. We got Octoroks here. We're going to start way over here at the end. And we got hit by an Octorok. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go over this way. 
And we're going to climb up on this pipe. Watch out for live bomb chew. Raise your shield, and you'll destroy him. We need to go up in here. Into the door we go, with that key we found. And you will enjoy what you're going to see on the other side of that room there. It's going to be a freaky battle, but if you are persistent and strong... This is basically just a way to stock up on some hearts, some bombs, rupees, and magic and arrows, of course. Oh, come on. Turn around, Miko. What's your problem? You blind as a... What are you? Blind as a bat or something? Anyway, let's go inside and battle this dude. Because we can't leave until we do. But wait! Where's the enemy? I'll give you a hint. He's up there! <gasps> Whoa! Nelly, now look at all those eyeballs! And here it comes. And we will show you how to battle this monster in our next video. Let's play! Are you gonna be ready for it? We'll see.